Well, I, uh, I grew up playing uh, pretty much all the sports. I, I played uh, football, basketball, uh, baseball, and we actually grew up playing uh, softball in our neighborhood. So uh, I grew up playing all those sports and narrowed it down to, uh, to being a basketball player. Uh, you know, I played uh, high school and college, and then I, I, uh, I played professionally for five years overseas. Uh, spent uh, some time in some NBA camps and uh, the whole time I always played softball and stayed with it and uh, so uh, when I returned back to the United States in 1991 uh, that's when I really threw myself into softball and, and uh, I've loved it ever since. How big are you Paul? Give us your height and weight. How old are you? Uh, six five, about 245 uh, and I am 55 years old now. Well, I find that I'm a much more effective hitter when I am hitting the ball out in front of me and I am striding to get that power from my hips because when, when I go out after the ball, my hips follow, my hands stay back, and I get a lot more explosion, a lot more whip, and a lot more power that way. People talk about weight transfer, and it's a hard term for rec guys to understand, but really the weight transfer is what allows your hips to open more freely and the weight coming off your back foot, you know, and kind of demonstrate throwing sidearm once how that's similar to where your swing is. Right, well, like, like grab a ball in your left left hand, you know, show a sidearm throw, then throw a, show a sidearm swing. Basically like this motion, here, here. Throw the hips, hands will follow, and the snap. Do you ever find that sometimes that you get jammed on the back leg don't get nearly as much stride and weight transfer and the rotation suffers them. Do you ever get into a funk like that? or Occasionally, but I think a I'm a little different than a lot of guys because uh, a lot of guys in the major plus division are looking to drive the ball. They're looking to pull the ball where I'm most effective when I'm using the whole field, especially from center field over. I hit a lot of balls backside in the gap. So if a lot of times a pitcher won't throw me a ball to pull, I will be happy to extend and go here, here, and here. So I try not to get myself uh, jammed up if possible. Then if you're going backside, you'll actually take a really strong stride that way. Absolutely. Kind of demo that for us. Absolutely. If I find that the ball is anywhere in the middle or outside part of the plate, I'm still striding so that I can get full extension here and snap. And I like to get that cross spin on a ball where I will come across the ball and it'll spin and hit the ground and spin away from that left fielder into the corner. But yeah, the stride for me takes place whether I'm going backside, pulling the ball, or through the middle. I have a bucket of uh, 75 balls and I get out there with my BP partners and I get much more out of that. I'll set uh, cones up and I, you know, I'll hit 50 balls between these two cones. I'll hit 50 balls between here. I'll go 25 balls through each side of the middle and, and basically just hitting it, you know, uh, situational hitting work. Is that bad for you? <laughs> Long fly ball to right field for a two run homer for Paul Stanley. If I want to drive the ball, uh, hit the ball out of the park or drive the ball with power, I'll move back in the box a little bit like I did in my last time up. Um, so, uh, really, I'm a little more probably uh, organic than a, than a guy like, say, Bob Waldike or Scott Kerr, some of these guys that are even, uh, obviously, yourself, that is extremely technical. Uh, uh, I, I just have a, a real handsy feel to the way I hit. Well, I, I, Dale Brumgarten, some of the top young pros from Deep Marine Now, I did a piece with him and he told me that there's about two pitches that he can't hit out of the park. One of them is a low outside pitch and so when he's got to go backside and keep it in. So I mean what you're saying makes a lot of sense. A lot of pros don't actually aim at the top, middle, and bottom of the ball, but they find the pitch that is their sweet pitch to just to drill and batting practice. And your, your thigh high pitch on the inside corner is one you're going to hit out more often. Right, and a lot of times if they throw that outside corner pitch, that's really perfect in a wheelhouse pitch for me because I love to hit that hole between short and third. And I almost, you know, you get spoiled to the point where you think you can hit that hole even on an inside pitch. And that's the pitch that does get me out when I want to go in that backside gap and, it, and, it, and that ball curves inside on me. 
the Larry Carter, in, in my opinion, uh, it has a great feel to it. It's got a very large sweet spot. Um, the ball explodes off the barrel. Both the 2016 and the new 2018 model, uh, they feel very similar to me uh, with a little bit of an end load. Um, I love the way the ball uh, explodes off the barrel anywhere through here because I hit a lot of balls backside in the gaps and I like the way that this bat feels in my hand. I'm a two-piece guy. Uh, I, it's got enough flex for me, but yet, uh, as I said, the sweet spot in the feel of the bat is, is great. How heavy do you swing, Paul? I swing a 28 uh, at the beginning of the day, and by the end of the day today, I'll be swinging a 27. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, what I think is a cool part about the bat, the, somebody says, what's the wow factor? Is there a big crack or a big noise it makes? No, the wow factor is just to feel off the barrel because it's very subtle, isn't it? Yeah, it's a very so in my eyes, it's very soft. It's very subtle. There's a lot of times you don't feel the ball come off the barrel, but it, it jumps off there, uh, and it just really does have a great feel to it. And how long have you been with Dave Marini? This is my second year. Uh, I was uh, I was with Worth uh, for six or seven years with Mike Cornell, and uh, when Corny came over to Dave Marini, uh, it was just basically really a natural progression for me. Uh, so uh, what about yeah. a guy in softball that Mike Cornell is there. Mike Cornell's uh, a great softball man. He's uh, he's been in it for a long time. He knows the business. He treats people the right way. And uh, yeah, I'm a big Mike Cornell fan. Uh, if you haven't tried this bat, and uh, you know the senior softball landscape is full of Mikeins and Adidas and Dudley bats, but if you give this bat a chance and you take a shot at it and you swing it, you will stay with the bat. It's a great bat. My wife never makes them out, does it? <laughs>